Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Tom, I guess there are a couple of uh, couple of stories people are talking about tonight. The weather doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem in Foxborough. That's good, but. There was some rain across our area today. Yeah, we did have some rain out there, and we've got the chance for some rain showers for a little while tonight because things are pretty unsettled out there. And you mentioned Foxborough. You know, there could be a few raindrops out there before all is said and done, maybe a couple of hours out. I don't think we're talking about much at all. If they see any, it's going to blow through and they're going to be set up very nicely for the game. A little bit closer to home up in the Northeast Kingdom. We've got some rain coming down around Derby, Newport, some action. This stuff's going to make its way uh, off to the east here. Then we head on down toward a place like Haverhill. We've got less rain than we did earlier, at least when it was coming toward Haverhill. And then we continue to come on down to the south and it's raining at a decent clip in places like Keene. Now upstream where the weather is coming from, we've got more as you cross the border here into Ontario, north into Quebec as well. So we're going to keep the chance for some showers in there, seeing a little bit right around Aquasasne and also Messina. And that's going to be the case, I think, for a while until we lose the daytime heating, which, by the way, is happening earlier than it used to, as you well know. Temperatures in the 60s for most of us, some 50s on the map, like Bennington right now, 58 degrees, 57. That is Rutland. Meanwhile, right in the Champlain Valley, we are in the 60s. All right, an update on Irma. 175 mile an hour winds just coming into the Turks and the Caicos. Remember, on the right side of the storm, that's where the strongest winds are going to be, and it looks like that's where some of these islands are going to get clipped. So they're going to have a very, very rough couple of hours in here, if not a little bit more than that. I want to show you what the track is up to. It looks like it wants to stay north of Cuba these days, uh, meaning these days when you talk about the new track for Irma. This is a 5 o'clock advisory. The other thing that's new here is it's going to make the turn as expected, but the model's indicating maybe a jog to the left or to the west a little bit. This is going to make a big difference for a lot of people because it wanted to be very close to the coast, at least the middle of the cone of uncertainty here, talking about the peninsula of Florida. Now it goes a little bit off to the west, which puts Miami on the tough side of the storm here. It also will have more of an effect for sure on the western side over towards, say, Naples and also Fort Myers. So we'll see how this verifies. But again, the cone of uncertainty is a lot wider than the center spot that we're sort of really paying close attention to here. But as time diminishes, as we get a little bit closer to the weekend, uh, this forecast is going to be a little more uh, believable in that, you know, it will change less over time. So we'll watch that for you. Right now, this thing is forecast to come right up the peninsula and eventually over places like Savannah, and it's going to rain a bunch in Knoxville over time as well. So we've got uh, hurricane watches in effect for southern Florida. No big surprise there. Meanwhile, the warnings are up for the Bahamas and the Turks and the Caicos, of course. For us tomorrow, it's going to be a mainly cloudy day. A little bit of sunshine here and there. Scattered showers expected by the afternoon. Maybe a couple of thunderstorms in there as well. So here's future cast. Let me take you through the overnight tonight. Maybe a couple of showers through the evening, and that's about it. For tomorrow, more clouds than sunshine in the afternoon. I think we're going to find some showers popping up and maybe even a thunderstorm or two in the evening time. And then we get rid of most of this stuff. On Saturday, expect to see more clouds than sunshine. We'll keep the chance for a shower or two in there, but certainly most of that day is going to be dry. And the day after that, Sunday, that is going to be the pick of the weekend. Scattered showers tonight, few thunderstorms. We have been seeing that 54 degrees. That's it for a low. Here comes your tomorrow. In the afternoon, we will find, I think, some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms in there too. Mid 60s right in the Champlain Valley, as warm as 71 down to the south, Keene, New Hampshire. Five day forecast, there's your 65 with some afternoon showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms in there. That's Friday. Saturday, more clouds than sunshine. The chance for a couple of showers, 62. Then we're on a roll here. Sunday into Monday, Tuesday, sunshine, 70s. That's going to be a nice change through Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, we may begin to feel the effects or see a few raindrops from Irma. We'll see how this whole thing pans out. And on Thursday, I think a better chance for some rain showers around here at a high of 71 degrees. So locally, Stu, while our weather forecast is getting better, certainly in Florida, that is not the case at all.